What's up, guys? This is Machete Panda, and we are back with some more Farming Simulator. So last time you were with me, we were trying to earn up some money. We had bought the sawmill. We were dropping off logs to build prefabricated walls to get more money. Um, I did two more rounds of dropping off prefabricated walls, and then I let several months go by. So we're now actually in March, so it's spring. Um, I did that just because I wanted to get more fabricated walls. I wanted there to be something for you guys when we came back. So let's head over to the sawmill real quick and just see how things are going. We don't need to go to the sawmill. We can use the commands, but it's always more fun just to be here at your job. We are completely full. So once a month, it was filling up at a rate of... Um, 2000 liters per month so i skipped forward five months no no this is right i skipped forward seven months so yeah all right pretty cool so we are completely full up on prefabricated walls i just want to go over and see what these things look like where do they output where did where did they come out you know what i'm just gonna have to actually because i can't i don't see the outline i'm just gonna no i don't want wood chips wood beams oh i've got i yeah i forgot about that so 15 pallets of prefabricated walls all right where did they go i just don't see these prefabricated walls i'm stumped i'm sorry guys i'm stumped one moment I need to look up. I'm going to look up and see where these are supposed to be coming out. So just let me look up. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So the issue was I had an add-on called the production revamp mod, which does like a whole revamp of the production system. And uh, that was clogging the works up. So we had 15,000 panels, and each one of these pallets is 15,000 or 1,000 liters. So one, two, three, four times three this is only 12 of the number but we can't load any more on there because it is full um what we're going to need to do is 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 load these into a truck get these delivered um i am not exactly sure which truck we should do but uh let's take a take a look and see if we can figure out how to transport these so i think what we'll do so we've already got, um, let me show you what we already have. We already have this guy right here. And it's versatile, could probably carry the pallets, but I want something that is a little less, a little less janky. Um, so I'm thinking, I want to go for is it this one. I want to go for this one. So we'll pick this guy up and uh, we'll go get, um, we'll go pick him up over at the, the, the store. So let's do that now. All right, guys. We're now at the store. We have picked up um, that trailer. I also grabbed some forks for our front end loader, um, you know, so that we can grab these pallets and put them on this truck, this trailer, excuse me. And um, I'm going to take this trailer up to go pick up those pallets. And uh, let's just take a look at this plate here. Born to lumber. <laughs> All right. I know I'm such a cornball. I know. I know. Please don't don't close the window. Please like and subscribe. If you think I'm a cornball, please like and subscribe. If you absolutely hate my jokes, please like and subscribe. That'll really teach me a lesson. All right. I'll catch up with you guys when we get back there.
All right, guys. Um, let's find out where we're going to make the most bang for our buck delivering these pallets. Um, let's get over here. Let's go check this out. And let's go down to the pallets. Prefab walls. So right now, Elm Creek. Oh, no. Elm Creek's the train, isn't it? And I don't know how to use the train. I'm horrible with the train. Um, Elm Creek is going to give us the most bang for our buck right now for our pallets. Um, which might be good because I can park the train right in front of here and I can just load all the pallets on because right now I've got to load them on bit, bit by bit. So I think Elm Creek is probably the most. The roller coaster, which we do need to finish, is in there, but we need money more, I think, right now than we do. Um, to finish the roller coaster. We do need to finish the roller coaster, but we need money because we need to really enhance our production. We need to get this things going a lot faster than they currently are. This is a cool little tool right here. This is the stock jack tool. And it tells you how much items are currently go for. It tells you how much it costs. And you know, the max price that you've seen over the last period of time. So um, the max month is currently this month. Uh, we're in March, right? Yeah, March. The max month is currently this month. And um, yeah, I'm thinking we want to do Elm Creek. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's on the train. I am pretty sure Elm Creek is on the train. I've never used the train before. Yeah, so Elm Creek's that way. What's this place over here? They both go to Elm Creek. Okay, so Elm Creek. Let's get the train here. Um, rental tool. Oh, rent a train. Here it is. Um, train is going to arrive soon. Oh, rent train. All right. So the train will be here any moment now. And then we've got to bring it over to the other location. Um, how are we doing here? Train's not on the map yet. Good. All right. Real quick, let me show you what I've done. So you guys may remember that further up there, I was doing a lot of forestry um, to get that addi those additional numbers up. I'd forested all the trees around that area, um, except for a couple that were pain in the neck because of the bushes. Um, these gigantic ones are too big in diameter, so I couldn't, I couldn't get those puppies. And, uh, I was going to get started. So I put it here, I finished off some trees over here and I'm going to get going over here. I'm um, thinking we'll do the, uh, how's the train coming? I think, I think we're going to do the zip line. Let me find out the name of this tool. This guy right here, yarder. I'm thinking we should do a yarder. Um, and the reason I think we should do a yarder is because it's going to move things along so much faster. Like I can just sit out here with this, this, uh, this thresher, this fell thresher. I can just sit out here all day and just cut all these trees down, use the yarder, run a line from one end to the other and just hook up the trees and just pull them all, all in. Cause right now I'm pulling the yard, the, the yard, th the fell thresher. Uh, pulling the trees over, stacking them up. That's a pain in the neck. Um, I also sold our little, um, what is this? This guy right here. I also sol sold a little wench. So the wench, I sold that out. I got tired of trying to use it. It was just becoming a pain in the neck. Um, so sold that one too. Um, and I'm thinking the yarder would be easier the wench was really slow the yarder is pretty fast so many reasons why i'm thinking the yarder makes more sense is it oh the train's there there's the train all right so now let's get the train back over to the train station
I wonder if I can put it on this gigant. I know that's not what this gigantic one's for, but I wonder if I can get the panels on that. Let's give it a try. I don't know if it'll let me do this. It seems to be letting me do this. <laughs> All right, so now real quick, I just want to see if it'll actually, um, which real car, it's the very next one behind it. I can latch it on. Fantastic, I can load this train right up. That's great news. I I have no clue what that was. <laughs> I have no clue what that was. Uh all right, this is going to be a screenshot. Okay, guys. So this is why you get things like super strength cuz impossible physics happen in this game. And there's just no way to recover from it um, without incurring a bunch of debt that was completely unrelated to your own fall. Like, what did the forklift get stuck in there? <laughs> you know? All right, back to it. Now let's make this delivery. Get in the train. Let's make sure that the straps are all on. There we go. Are the straps on all of the back ones too? Or the front ones, excuse me. 
And let's just turn the straps off, turn them back on just to make sure. And um, let's get go. I think either side of the rails is Elm Creek. So let's just make sure. Because I'm closest to this side. So yeah, this side's Elm Creek. And how's Elm Creek doing for price? See, it's still going up. We're going to fast forward time just a little and just watch this price and see how high it goes. So, all right, down here. And we're going to switch it to that. And then we're going to watch the price carefully. No, it's, it's stuck at 8, 16, 825. It's not going up. Nope, it's it's definitely stuck there. So, all right. Oh, that's good. So let's get this delivered to Elm Creek. This should be good money. This should be very good money. Turn to the other side of the map. Ooh, quarter of a million dollars. That's what we're talking about right there. Quarter of a million dollars. Now, I'm not sure that's actually more than what we would have got for containers, actually. But, um, hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, we can sell this thing, too, while we're at it. I mean, it's very tempting to keep so we can put transport vehicles on it. But it's so small. And by the time we're ready to transport vehicles large enough that it doesn't make sense for us to use something, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be too small. We're going to sell this. So we are doing real good right now with money. Um, we've got a lot of it. And I am kind of feeling like we should do some upgrades to the camp. But for now, let's get this back to camp. And then let's take a look at where we're at with the camp. See you in a moment. All right, guys, we are actually going to stop the video there. So I lied and we'll have, have a part two immediately after this. So um, please like, please subscribe. Part two is coming out right after this. And um, we have a whole nother segment of stuff happening. Hopefully it'll be much shorter. Thank you, guys.